And welcome to Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, live on the red carpet for TIFF for the premiere of the movie One Life starring Anthony Hopkins. This movie is a biographical portrayal, a true story of a man named Nicholas Winton, who was a Englishman who saved many Jewish children from Czechoslovakia on the Kinder train. So we're gonna have some conversations with the writers, directors, and producers. So please stay with us. Hi, I'm Jeanette Burke, host and creator of the four-time award-winning lifestyle web TV show, Jeanette's TV and its sister spinoff, Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm back at the red carpets of TIFF and I need to be dressed. So I really depend on my sponsors. And I want to give a big shout out thanks to Vicky Kishen, who is the owner of Lavender Lily Boutique in Thornhill on John Street. She's been providing me clothes for the red carpet for years. Like this beautiful jacket and shirt from Joseph Ribkoff. She carries Canadian and European designers. She has fabulous clothes for every occasion. Go see my friend Vicky Kishen at Lavender Lily Boutique for all your styling and wardrobe needs. We are working to evacuate these children by train to safety in Britain. Why are you doing this, Mr. Winton? Because I may be able to do something about it. I must. Whack. And I want to talk to you about your experience as a child on that kinder train that you were saved by Nicholas. What, what was going on? Like, describe to me the scene and your family and everything, and then how you got on that train. Okay, the, tr- the train left from Prague. We did not leave in Prague. We had to join the train uh, from Bratislava, which was the capital of Slovakia. My uh, and not in Prague, on route from Prague to wherever they were going in Holland, eventually. My mother uh, brought us by train from Bratislava to wherever they joined, you know, where, wherever the kind of transport train joined. And I was with my two younger sisters, and of course my mother stayed behind. And uh, so... I didn't experience some of the terrible things that went other people did on the train, you know, baggage strewn now and so on. We went, uh, I can't remember that much except my, my younger sisters. You know, we felt safe because there were three of us. We got to, we got to, what was it, uh, in Holland and then took the, uh, then took the, ferry to Harwich and at Harwich there was a train waiting for us to take us to London. In London there was a huge well, lots of people on that transport and all the families that that were receiving and going to keep looking after the children they were there in London. So you arrive in England well, I and there were families got, there got, got, Got off the boat and crossed the uh, the ocean. The what's it called? I don't, I don't remember what it's called. But we ended up in Harwich, which is on the coast. So from Harwich, there was a train to take us to London. London. There, there everybody got off. Everybody was labelled with a number. Then the people who were going to receive us and into their families, they were there looking for the, the number and the kids. Turns out that my, my father, which I didn't know until then, my father was already in England and, and, he, uh, and he took us to our foster family down uh, near Bournemouth. And, and it was very unusual to have a foster family that took three children. Most fi- families would only take one child. And there were three of us, and this family took all three of us. How wonderful they, that you got to stay with your family, your sisters, and you met, yes. get reunited yes. with your father. And what yes. about your mother? My mother remained behind until she, until my father was able to get her a job in England as a 
cook, housekeeper, maid. He had already got a job as a butler, gardener, and chauffeur in the same estate. So they but, had to stay there for one year, and then they could come and pick us but up. But you survived, right? And you and and that's the main thing. And so, what if if Nicholas was sitting standing here with us today? What would you say to him? Don't don't laugh. I'm sorry. I'd hug him like everybody else. But we didn't know until much later how you know how we were lucky enough to get out of. I have one last question for you because I wanted you to stand too long. So what do you want this movie to do to help fight anti-Semitism? What message do you want the world to know about Jews? Yeah, it's. I don't think it's just anti-Semitism you have to worry about. I do. I do worry about it. I am Jewish. I'm Jewish too. (laughs) But, But, you know, I think the more people know about other people, what their background is, and, you know, it's not only Jews who are targets of racism. I, I want them to know more, and I want them to know what people are like, and, and I don't know how you, uh, how you combat lies, you know, <laughs> denials and things like that. Well, I'm so glad you made it to see the movie, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thanks for being with us today on Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, signing off. Please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts with your family and friends. And if you haven't already done so, please click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will find us everywhere on the TV and streaming side, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Vimeo, YouTube. Instagram, TikTok, and the list goes on. On the audio or podcast side, you will find us on Apple Radio, iHeartRadio, Buzzsprout, BuzzFeed, Anchor, and that whole list goes on too. For a complete list of where to watch and listen to us, please check the link in the show notes below. And until next time, continue to be fabulous.